Hello, this is AG Studio. Today we are going to discuss regarding an algorithm called as selection sort. So today we are going to trace a selection sort algorithm. Before that, uh, we shall see the output of this, how the selection sort algorithm works. So let me click on this, that is start debugging. So I'll press yes. It will take some time uh, to run the program. Uh, first, it will ask for a number of elements. I will take it as 3 and press enter. And next, enter the numbers and I will give 5, 1, and 3. So, 3 elements 5, 1, and 3. I press enter. You can see that sorted element is 1, 3, 5. So, whatever the elements you enter, it will be sorted in ascending order. So, here we are going to use for sorting, we are going to use selection sort. So we shall see the logic. How do you uh, see the logic and how do you trace it? So very simple. I have put breakpoints for this. I'll build, debug, and uh, enable all the breakpoints. Now I will try to debug it. So everybody, you can see uh, the debugging here. It, it comes from an yellow line. That means uh, the debugging started. So again, I'll press on continue. You can see print f enter the number of Element so uh, it, it will go to the next line print enter the number of elements again I'll just continue so now it went to scanf so now it will take the number of elements in scanf when I press on continue it will redirect to the output screen this is output screen number of elements I'll take it as 3 which I taken uh, before so now I should press enter you can see over here this is again I press this now <coughs> it is in the th uh, next line uh, print of enter number again I will continue uh, so now it went to for loop so you can see the for loop and even you can see the values over here when I press on continue you can see the for loop i value is 0 you can see able to see here i value is 0 and you can see i is 0 and n is 3 i, I less than n so it is true 0 less than 3 you can see that 0 i is 0 and n is 3 so it is true so it went to scan f you can see a so i value is of course it is 0 again i will continue so you can see it will ask for enter the numbers so i will uh, put the same numbers which i have given I press uh, as 5 as first uh, number. I press enter. So the first element will be will be 5. You can see if you press on plus, you can see the first element a of 0 will be 5. I'll minimize this. Okay, now i is incremented. You can see i is incremented. i value will be 1. So it is a for loop. Every time it will increment. So 1 less than. 3 so again it will be true so again it will ask for one more uh, number so I'll give it as 1 so I have the second number I'll give as 1 and then press enter so you can see now i value is 2 it has been incremented every time i will be incremented so 2 less than 3 again it will be true so it will ask for a of 2 so next number I'll take it as 3 5 1 3 again I'll press enter so finally for loop it is finished so the for loop is finished because all three numbers is stored if you want you can press on plus here you can see first number is 5 second number is 1 third number is 3 5 1 3 so next we'll see the one more for loop this is for uh, sorting which is used for sorting so I'll press on continue since i is 0, 0 less than n minus 1, that is n, n is 3 and 1 is minus 1, that is 2. So it will be true, it will go inside and i is 0 and minimum will be, you can see over here, now I will press continue, you can see min is 0. So whichever the latest value changed will be in red color, you can see over here. So now again it will go to the for loop. So we will see what will happen. I'll press, and, I'll press continue. You can see j value is 1. So j is 1, i is 0, 0 plus 1 is 
1 so j so 1 less than 3 so every time it will be incremented and uh, this condition will be checked if loop okay so a of min so min is 0 you know a of min is 0 and a of 0 means you can see over here a of 0 is of course it is 5 and it will be compared with a of 1 a of 1 is you can see a of 1 is 1 so it will be 5 and 1 is compared if it is greater then you will exchange, uh, uh, again you can see over here a min is 5 you can see over here 5 then um, a of j is 1 a of j is 1 1 element 1 so j is stored in min a, a j is stored in min so i press you can see here now minimum element is 1 every time it will increment so now again if so now j value will be incremented you can see j value is 2 you can see over here j value is since it is in for loop it will be continuing until it will be false so now again it came here a of min i press once again you can see j value is 2 and min value is 1 so again uh, when after whole if after j is uh, false it will come out you can see over here it will come out now uh, this one is for interchange of the elements so uh, it is unsorted elements are unsorted i have sorted so this exchange will happen here in this if min not equal to i so you exchange using temp and minimum so you can see min uh, a of i a of i you can see 5 5 will be stored in temp you can see here a of i will be stored in 5 will be stored 5 a of i will be stored in 5 you can see here in the temp 5 will be stored because i need to interchange so in a of i so in a of i 1 so a of i is 1 so a of i is nothing but the 0 in 0th element 1 is stored then again this interchange of element will happen if you want to see what is in this one you can see so before it was 513 now 153 so interchange has happened interchange happened between 1 and 5 so here the interchange has happened again i'll press continue so now again min is so i value will be 1 i will be incremented because for loop is uh, true so only this for loop was false but this one was the true all along because now i is increment now minimum is 1 minimum is 1 you can see that so you can see min is 1 i is 1 j is 3 and n is 3 of course 3 elements so again now of course j will be you can see the elements what will happen to j and now j will be 2 why j will be 2 because 1 plus 1 i is 1 plus 1 so less than n true so it will go inside so now you can see j j is 3 and min will be 1 so you can see over here these two elements okay so the same way it will continue now min will be 2 min value will be 2 now second position so in j will be stored in min so again we will see how it will go so after for loop is finished now it will, uh, the value interchange will happen of course a min will be greater and a of j will be smaller so that means j is minimum element so you can you should make j as a minimum so now what will happen you should interchange you can see here now i'll press once again now temp in the temp you can see 5 will be there in temp so 5 will be there that is the first element so 1 will be stored in temp 5 will be stored in temp okay then i i is nothing but your next element that is 1 i a of i will be 3 a of i will be 3 3 will be stored you can see here 3 now, uh, in a of i 3 is there now in this position 5 should come so that is why you are making temp is equal to a of min when i press on this continue you can see the transition you can see 1 3 5 so the values are in order all the all the values are in order again okay. now of course uh, all the sorting is finished so it will come out of the both the loops now sorted array 
it will be sorted array for for i is equal to zero. You can see i is equal to zero. Okay, i less than so zero is less than three. So every time i will increment and it will print. If you want to see what is in array, you can you can uh, press plus. In a of zero one is there. In a of one three, a of two five is there. I press one by one. And if if you want, you can see the output screen. If you want, you can see the output screen. Sorted array. So now sorted array is blank. Now what I will do is I will press on continue. Now I will go back to this one. See you can see the first element is printed one. In a of zero one is there. Again I will press continue. Okay. Again I will go back to output screen. You can see three is printed. Again I will press on continue. Okay, now you can see all three elements is printed. So I have given five one three, but it is in sorted array one three five. So finally, when you do all this, you will get the output. So this is about the selection sort. How it will work? Okay, how the tracing will happen? So that's all. Signing off, PJ Studio.